Welcome to Amber Cove, the Dominican Republic in the Eastern Caribbean. Carnival's private resort destination is located on the Bay of Maniano, seven miles northwest of Porta Plata on the eastern half of the island of Española. The, this private 30-acre retreat is exclusively offered as a port of call to cruisers with Carnival and its sister companies. It opened in 2015. The Port of Amber Cove has two berths to hold two large cruise ships simultaneously and is designed to handle up to 8,000 passengers. The zone is crammed with water sports activities, dining opportunities, shopping, shore excursions, and fun attractions. And guys, today is Amber Cove Day. As you can see, it's the Towel Animal Day. If you've never ever got to look around and seen all the animals, have some fun here. Take it all in. It's a breathtaking sight to see and all the stuff that they have to offer. You know, um, also along with Amber Cove, there are some pretty cool things to learn about, like Jurassic Park was filmed here, guys. Um, some amazing things that we got to, you know, basically witness and see. Um, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. The Porta Plata dates back to the 16th century, and the port serves as a gateway to the area. In keeping with history and architecture of the area, Amber Cove features architecture reflections of the Victorian colonial Spanish style. Guys, some of the architecture along the way is beautiful. A long pier leads from the cruise ship to the huge shopping area with Cobblestone Plaza. Further away, there's a giant aquatic zone with pool, a swim-up bar, cabanas, and exciting water sports activities. And guys, you will see it coming up. The resort boats a selection of restaurants and bars serving wide choices of local international cuisines. Further inland is the hilly tree-covered backdrop overlooks the swimming pool and provides a panoramic view of Amber Cove and the surrounding turquoise sea. And that it does. And guys, I'm here to tell you, I actually went ziplining. Amber Cove is the is newest cruise port of the Caribbean. It brought cruise ships back to the Dominican Republic after almost 30 years of absences. Carnival Corporation spent an $85 million creating Amber Cove on the northwest coast of the Dominican Republic, and it has since welcomed in over a million cruisers. The first 3,000 guests arrived on board the Carnival Vic Victory in October of 2015, and it has since become a popular port of call. And guys, I'm here to tell you, if you've not had a chance to ever go to Amber Cove, it is a must-see, do, and thing. Um, the only way you can visit Amber Cove is by booking a cruise. That includes the Amber Cove, Dominican Republic, as a port of call on the itinerary. Amber Cove is reached along a private pier, so cruisers do not have to, you know, take a tender or anything else like that. There's no admission fee for the cruisers to visit Amber Cove. Guests get complimentary lounge chairs, hammocks, pool access, access and many free fun activities. There's also a, a photo op at the point of getting a selfie with the cruise ship and the background. Amber Cove is divided into two distinct areas. The Waterfront Welcome Center, Marketplace, and Aquatic Zone. The duty-free shopping area has a range of shops, craft stalls, restaurants, and bars. Guys, also the pool there is phenomenal. It's like a floatable river 
And um, you can rent umbrellas, I think, for $25. Now, also, guys, there's zip lining here. You can zip line for $25. And that is all day long, as long as you can do that. You can also check with your cruise planner and your cruise stuff. You can get in and get the um, huts and everything that they have, the cabanas and stuff that you can buy and rent for the day. They have a sky bar that you can rent and go up to. Zip lining, windsurfing and kiteboarding you can rent and go do. Uh, let's see here. They have lots of water sports and rentals. And guys, it's fairly cheap. Let's see what else they have. Oh, yeah, shopping. Shopping is a must there. Um, Diamonds International is there. The cigar shop is there. You can also get your passport stamped here, which I didn't get to do, and I'm officially bummed about it. Uh, food and beverages are there. Uh, let's see here. You can also go into this cute little coffee shop, buy a coffee for like three bucks, and you get internet access for the whole day. It's simply amazing. Uh... There's a dolphin swim at the Ocean World for a day pass. You can go swim with the dolphins. The waterfalls of the Dominican, an off-road buggy trip. That is beautiful and spectacular. Coconut Beach. You take a catamaran. You can visit Grand Turk. Hey, look, there goes a few of our friends. I do believe that was Amy and Ron sees America. And with this Taze Adventures, check them out, you guys. Well guys like this vlog enough for me rambling we will catch you all stay tuned don't forget to hit that thumbs up ring that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so you don't miss any more of our amazing destinations and until next time guys thanks for watching and have a fantastic day bye now